Coming up next, it is a middleweight clash between Kelvin Gastelum and Brad Tavares. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, he is one of the best fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, to have never realized a piece of UFC gold. Former Ultimate Fighter winner Kelvin Gastelum, and some you like to say embrace the grind. He has absolutely embraced it. He's embraced the sprints. Seems to have this champion's mentality, and he'll try to parlay that into another big win here tonight. And he's gonna need that mentality in order to build himself back to where he wants to be. But couple that mentality with the skills that Kelvin Gastelum possesses, He's a fantastic boxer. For a short guy, he does a really good job with his kicks. He's just a full-on mixed martial artist, a young man that has developed that fighting style from the very start. Truly, truly phenomenal fighter, a great ambassador for the sport. Kelvin Gaslam has it all. And maybe his best skill is something you can't quantify, his heart. He's got so much heart. He's got so much heart. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 8 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Brad Tavares! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gastelum. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's gonna try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Alright, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter just very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under three minutes remain in round one. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And he landed the right hand there. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Good work from the top here by Gastelum. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Gastelum. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Gastelum going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Finds a home for the left hand there. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom, he's doing it here, nice punch. Hammer fist here by Gastelum. Both fighters get up now, changes his stance. This is very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice jab by him there, he's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. That's a big strike right there. Round two straight ahead. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Oh, he lands a 
another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. While he continues to find the openings tonight, beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, vicious uppercut. Wow. Engages in the single collar tie. Lands the right hand. Nice punch by Tavores. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. So 126 total strikes already have landed for Kelvin Gaston. Well, I'm landing at a pretty good clip as well. 67% accuracy thus far against Brad Tavares. Oh, effective strike there by Gaston. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Big left hand from Kelvin Gastelum. He came into the UFC with a whole lot of power, but it's really been honed by Rafael Cordero there at Kings MMA. Gastelum as confident in his striking as he has ever been entering the octagon here tonight. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Tavores is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big ball from Brunch Land. Now he gets back to range. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Two minutes to go. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Great punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. One two there by Brad Tavares. And they separate. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique. Almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Big head kick land. Gastelum gets touched by that kick to the body. Big punch land goes to the top. How's he gonna follow this? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice counter there with the left hand. Snaps it off beautifully. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Ooh, what a punch. Punches go. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Single collar tie now. Ten seconds to go in the round. Ooh. And what a round! Stop, stop, stop. 
All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, that's a nice strike. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Battle for position here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Try to establish that jab. Well, this fighter can go all day. 159 total strikes have landed for Kelvin Gaston. And landing at a 54% clip tonight against Brad Tavares. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh! Kick lands, he's hurt. Right punches there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Drop clip with the right hand. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Tavares gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Blocks the shot to the body. Ooh, what a punch. Tavares' his lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. He blocks the punch. Certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Good. Oh, nice 
kick off right there. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see times when it came. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Straight punch land. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He loaded up on that right hand, too. I mean, he's cutting down the side. He's hurt bad. Oh! oh! Unbelievable. Oh, and there it is. One of the best back takers in the sport took his back there. Now we'll see what he can do. Now he's in imminent danger. Now he is in trouble because he will take his time. He will start to force him into making mistakes. He'll punch, punch, punch. The moment the guy starts worrying too much about the strikes, he will take his neck and try to find the submission victory. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Now it's his mouth. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Gastelum's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Going orthodox now. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He would continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't got himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Left hand punch to the clinch. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Tavares gets caught with that punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Wow! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Trying to establish that jab once again. 
connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And they separate. Oh, that couldn't have been. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he could get back to that one more time, he may end the night. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Good punch, Lance. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? A critical takedown here. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Hawaiian Brad Tavares. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with him. Whoa! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Throwing that jab now again. The fire of eight. Oh, nice kick to the body there by Brad Tavares. Oh, he's hurt, he's gone! Oh, my goodness! What a performance! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and 
I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 14 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brad Douglas! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.